kings and queens. So if you're not already subscribed or following my nonprofit's Instagram or YouTube page, then you probably don't know what we started talking about this week. So this week, let me just clue you in, we've decided to start focusing on watching our words. And the reason why this is so important is because our words matter. What we say about others, what we say about ourselves, and even what we say about situations matter. There's power in it. And for this reason, we thought it's important for us to start thinking about what we are saying. What's coming out of your mouth? Is it words of life? Is it words of death? Are you speaking in encouragement? Are you speaking discouragement? What are you saying? How are you using your words? It's really important to think about that. You see, oftentimes this world leads us to believe, especially in the media, that it doesn't matter what you say. You can say whatever you want, speak your mind, go ahead, let it fly. The problem with that is that our words have the power to destroy things or give life to situations. It has the power to destroy people or has the power to build people up. Even when we were kids, words mattered. What our parents said to us, what our friends say, or even what teachers said, it mattered. It left an imprint on you. And I'm sure we can all think back to a moment when someone said something to you that made an impact on your life in some way, whether good or bad. And this is why we think that this is an important topic and relevant topic for us to start talking about over the next few weeks. So, thinking about how you've been using your words. How have you been using your words when you're talking about or to other people? How about the words that you use against or for yourself? Are you speaking life over the situations in your life and in your environment? Or are you speaking death over them? What about how you are speaking about circumstances and problems that you face and encounter? Are you saying you're gonna fail? Are you saying that it's not gonna work out? Or are you speaking prosperity? Are you speaking success over your life? We're gonna dive so much more into that topic over these next few weeks. Now, I know I'm throwing around the words life and death and most of us are probably familiar with the phrase life and death are in the power of the tongue that actually comes from proverbs 18 21 particularly the king james version that reads fully death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof so for my Bible scholars, we may be familiar with the idea of what fruits are you bearing? And that just means what are you putting out? What are you giving off into the world for other people to take part of? Is what you're saying to other people fruitful? In other words, is what you're saying to other people something that is going to help them to grow or develop in positive ways or help them be encouraged in some way? Or are you discouraging them and speaking to their flaws rather than their attributes that resemble God in so many ways? Oftentimes we look at the negative sides of people and we don't take a moment to think and speak on the positive sides of them, the things that they are growing beautifully in. And so when we think about that, we have to also think about, yes, there are good fruits, but there are also bad fruits. So is what you're saying actually bad fruit for you and for others? Are you saying things like, I hate her? Or are you saying things like, this situation will never get better? You got to take into account that every single word that you say and speak over yourself, your others, your loved ones, your relationships, situationships, whatever it may be, what are you saying about it? How are you speaking it to either succeed or to die? to live or to perish. It's important to think about, and I know it can get a little heavy, but I like to look at scriptures in different versions. 
And I looked up the scripture from the message version, and it really stood out to me. So I'm going to read it to you guys. Proverbs 18.21 from the message version. Words kill, words give life. They're either poison or fruit. You choose. Now, both of these scriptures are saying the same things, but it just seems a little bit more impactful to me to think about words killing. What have you killed with your words? What have you given life to with your words? Of course, we can't take them back and we have to deal with the consequences and the outcomes. They're either poison or fruit. And that last part, those of you who've been following for the kingdom for a minute now, you choose. We talk so much about choices. You have a choice. Are you going to drink the poison? Or are you going to eat the delicious fruit? Now, with the message version, it separates fruit from poison, but either way, it's something that you are intaking, right? So, of course, if we see poison, we're going to say, no, we'll, we'll take the fruit. But oftentimes we don't realize how what is saying what we are saying looks a lot like poison and we still choose to take it. We still choose to put it in our bodies and put it into other people, our children, our family members. We want our family members to change or our loved ones and significant others to grow in some way, but then we continue to say negative things about them and to them. You're speaking death. You're giving them poison. And this is why right now we need to start thinking about starting today and every day this week, what are we using our words for? Are we speaking life? Are we speaking death? What type of fruit are we giving? Are we giving off poison? Or are we giving off that good fruit to uplift someone and inspire someone? I encourage you today and throughout this series to think about what are you using your words for? Let's start watching our words, being more mindful of them and using them to speak life and goodness in other people, in ourselves, and in our situations. I hope you guys stay tuned and I look forward to having open discussions with all of you about this topic. Drop comments below, subscribe, follow, all of the things. And above all, remember that God loves you and continue to love yourself take care of yourself, and continue to remember that you are an amazing king and queen, and God loves you. Love you guys.